Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Today I would like to share my dream. This dream is about the dream of chastisement. In this dream, I'm very young in spirit, very brave and bold, really tough and 100% rebellious. Uh, I like pushing the limits and very courageous too as well. So this is exactly how I was in my team. So in this dream, I'm just walking along the beach and uh, from a distance I could see a rocket. It's not a very big rocket, um, it's kind of a small rocket and there are people there in the beach, they are playing. When the rocket is about to launch, the people there are running away. But I'm doing something different, I'm walking towards it. And then after that I see myself in a prison, I don't know how I was caught and uh, I don't know the reason why I was caught but I'm just in a prison. And when I say prison, it is not typically a jail cell or, uh, or maybe a lockup room. It, it doesn't look like that. This prison, it resembles like a living room. And then the female uh, police officer, she steps in. She's not even wearing a uniform. It's just a simple dress. And uh, she's carrying with her the documents. And uh, along with me, there were two other girls who were caught. And I don't even know them. And now the police officer is explaining to us the reason why we were caught. So before she explains, I look to her and I'm telling to her, Ma'am, there is something that I would like to say. And then I look at these girls and I tell them, Hey, I think we are now being chastised. So after I got up, uh, it took some time for me to uh, understand the meaning of this dream. And I will explain the dream in two parts. The first part, as you know, I said that I'm... I'm really tough and rebellious, in other words, disobedient, so this is something that is not pleasing to the Lord. So this is the first part of the dream. And the second part of the dream, uh, I'm telling you that I'm in a prison. And I also told you that the prison, it's not, a, it's not like a typical jail cell. I told you that this prison, it looks like, uh, it looks like, a, like I'm in a living room. And uh, the second part of the dream matches to the, the reality of my life, like something is happening right now and this, this, the second part of the dream, I mean it really matches to what is happening right now in my life. So I'll just explain you the second part of the dream. Now the second part of the dream is I'm in a prison and uh, basically my freedom has been removed and I'm stuck in a place, um, in a place where I'm not able to do what I want to do. And I'm put in a position where I'm being chastised now by this police officer. So in real life, uh, when I had all the blessings, you can watch this video, baby playing with the toys. That was a vision. I made this uh, video a couple of months back uh, where I explained that in detail. So it's better you watch that video. So I was blessed with a good job. And, uh, you know, I was living a life that was not pleasing to the Lord. In other words, I would not be careful with my speech, I would not be careful with my thoughts, I would just live any way I want to and I wouldn't worry about the Holy Spirit, I wouldn't worry about Jesus, I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't worry about, uh, you know, obeying the Word of God, I would just live any way that I want to and so the Lord, what He did, He had to remove my job and He put me here and as you can see, I'm, you know, in my home and this is, uh, this is the living room where I'm sitting right now. And I've been stuck here for a very long period. It's not in days. It's not in weeks. It's not even in months. It's, it's in years. And I've been here for a very long period. And I'm stuck here. I'm not, you know, I'm being severely chastised by the Lord. I'm all alone here when He's chastising me. And I'm telling you the chastisement period, it, it was very painful. It was absolutely not pleasant, but when I saw the end results, it was extremely awesome. I myself could see the difference in it. And uh, so basically, this dream is nothing but the dream of chastisement. And I would like to tell you a little bit about chastisement and uh, pruning. They both are the same. I mean, I would like to tell you what is a chastisement and the process of it, the purpose and the reason, just all in one line. Uh, but before that, I would like to uh, tell you that I've recently made this video, Baby Playing With The Toys. Now, this is not a dream. This is a vision. And uh, I guess the link, I might have mentioned it below this video. So I would like you to watch that video and come back.
So if you're wondering what exactly is chastisement, it's nothing but discipline, correction. Uh, I don't know if I can add the word punishment. Many people may not agree with that, but it's kind of a punishment. And uh, pruning, scourging. By the way, pruning you can find in John chapter 15, verse 2, where it says that every branch in me that does not bear fruit will be cut off. And every branch that bears fruit will also be cut off in order to bear more fruits. So chastisement is nothing but correction and discipline. The Lord is correcting you and disciplining you. And uh, so this is chastisement. And number two, the process of chastisement. The process is very, very painful. The process is painful. It's absolutely not pleasant. But if you notice the end results, you will really like it. You yourself will see the difference in you. When I was going through this period of chastisement, there was nobody with me. I couldn't find anyone uh, who was going through the same journey as mine. I was all alone and I would be crying many times. I would plead with the Lord to give me a break because it was very, very painful. So the process is very painful. Absolutely not pleasant. But you will like the results. You will definitely like the results. Number three is the purpose of chastisement. Um, the reason why the Lord is doing it is to be like Christ, to have a mind of Christ, to live in holiness. You know, when you're going through this period of chastisement, it's nothing but sanctification. You're being sanctified. So I would say that chastisement and pruning is also the same. Like some people say that when you're being pruned, the Lord is removing some stuff up from your life in order for you to bear more fruits, the fruit of righteousness. And the last one is the reason. The reason why you're going through all this is because if you see the man's addiction, it's nothing but to please his flesh. He likes to satisfy his flesh. Whatever he sees, he likes to buy it. Or he's very adamant. He wants to do what he wants to do. You know, he doesn't want to do what the Lord wants him to do. And he, I mean, most of us are really not concerned about Jesus. We're not concerned about his presence, about his feelings. We're not concerned about the Holy Spirit. We're absolutely not sensitive to the Holy Spirit. We're not even able to recognize our sin. And we are just living any way that we want to live. So this is one of the reasons why the Lord has to come and he has to discipline us. So chastisement and pruning is the same. They both keep us from going off in the wrong direction. You know, they put us on the right track. Another important thing that I would like to tell you is, uh, let me just tell you my experience. When I was going through this uh, period of chastisement, uh, frankly, to tell you the truth, I really didn't like it. And I was crying a lot. I was begging with the Lord to give me a break. And I would see people flourishing. I would see people doing well. Some of them were doing well. Some of them were rising, rising high. Some of them were flourishing. And, uh, and I felt like I'm still stuck here. You know, I'm stuck in this place and I was wondering for how long I'm going to be stuck here. But then after that, I thought to myself, you know, the Lord is correcting me for a divine reason, for a divine purpose. And he's not doing it, you know, to hurt my feelings. He's not trying to inflict pain. Um, he's not trying to make me cry. I mean, he's not an evil God. He's such a good God. If you notice in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, it, it really says that. So I was wondering like how long I'm going to be like this, stuck in this place because it was not for days, it's not for weeks, it's not even for months, it's for years. And uh, But when I began to see the results, I started liking it. I really started to like the chastisement. I really began to like it and I felt like the chastisement was really a blessing to my soul. And I began to praise God for the chastisement. I began to praise Him for His whip. I began to praise Him for the pain. I began to praise Him for, the, for my tears. I began to praise Him for the things that I don't understand. I began to praise Him when I was not getting what I wanted and He would give it to somebody else and I would see that. And I would praise Him for that. And uh, basically I would, you know, I would, many things I wouldn't understand, like I wouldn't know why I'm still here, but, but the one who sits on the throne, He is aware of it. He knows because He is the one in charge of my life and He is completely in control. And I would totally submit to this pain of godly correction. And I would be very quiet when he takes me to this wilderness period. 
I mean, I really don't like it, but I would be very quiet. I would not grumble and I would not complain. And uh, I would be, in fact, I would be praising him. I would be praising him. So if you really do that, you know, I'm telling you, you will see the results. And you will be amazed of the results. If you just cooperate with the Holy Spirit and be quiet in your wilderness, and if you just stay humble there in your wilderness period, you yourself will see the results. But uh, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be very painful. And uh, <clears throat> you might want to give up, but I'm telling you, please don't give up. Be faithful to the Lord and He knows what He's doing. You may not know, you may not understand. And I think it's not our business to know what exactly is happening. It's better to be quiet, better to submit to the Lord, submit to that pain of godly correction, and you will see the results. Now I'm going to share a couple of scriptures, so take a look at these scriptures. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care and be blessed.